Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. With solar power systems, they're producing all their power during the day. And most people don't actually use all the power that is being produced by their system straight in their property during the day when it's actually been produced by the solar. So what we recommend you try and do is, you to, uh, is turn on loads during the day so they're utilizing the free power from the sun rather than you having to buy power back at night time from the grid. So one way we do this is by installing a timer such as this one on your hot water system. And with the hot water systems, they're quite a large load. And so they're a perfect thing to have come on, say at 9 a.m. in the morning, turn off at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And so during the middle of the day when the sun's been out, it's been, that, that power has been going into the hot water system. What we often do is replace a 3.6 kilowatt element, which is a standard element in a hot water system, with a 1.8 kilowatt element. A 1.8 kilowatt element is half the size of the 3.6, and it will still heat up the hot water exactly the same. It will just take twice as long to do so. And when we're running a the, the hot water system for like eight hours or so during the day, that's plenty of time for the 1.8 kilowatt element to do its work. So. What we'll do now is just have a close look at these timers and how to set them up. Today we have a Legrand timer. And I just want to show you how to set up this timer and, uh, and change the times that are required and just the different functionality of it. So here we have a look here. We've got this, uh, this bar here which has a little arrow down here pointing towards a picture of a clock and we've got an I and an O. So this is a little switch here which switches between the clock up to I which is on, always on, and O which is always off. So if this timer is set on the O function here it means it won't go on no matter what the clock is actually set to, it will just stay on off. If it's set on the, uh, the little clock symbol it will be automatically running on the timer. So uh, depending on what uh, you've set the timer to is when the, the uh, timer will, on the load, will turn on and off. If it's set up on I, it will bypass the timer altogether and be on constantly. So normally, not for normal operation, it will be down in the clock section. Now, here we have a little arrow here, you can see there. And that is pointing to what the current time is. So you can see we've got an eight here. So that's, it's just coming up to eight. So it's around eight o'clock. And it's a 24 hour time clock. So that's 800 hours. So it's eight o'clock in the morning. And you've got these little divots you can see here and they can scroll across like so. And you can pull them back like so. Now with the, Oops, there we go. So with the Legrand timers like this one here, the uh, if these little divots are over to the left, so um, up against the letters, that means it's on. And if they're across this side, like these ones here, it means it's off. So you can see here we've got four o'clock in the morning, there'll be five there, that larger uh, little dash there. Then we've got six o'clock here, so we just change this over there, oops, one too many. Oh, a little bit fiddly because they are so small. But so that's, in this case here, at 6 a.m. in the morning, we see the six there, at 6 a.m. in the morning, this will turn on, and then we've got seven o'clock there, that dash, and eight o'clock down there, so six o'clock to seven o'clock in the morning, it'll be on, then it'll be turning off. Now you can adjust the time by just scrolling this whole wheel here around. You see that's moving there, a bit hard to see with that. See that's moving around there, so we got into the afternoon, so midday there, down to two o'clock or 1400 hours. And oh. so we can just, if we want to turn it on at all, we just pull those across. And so that's coming on just after one o'clock there, or at one o'clock there, on to, we move that over onto three o'clock in the afternoon or 1500 hours. So if we say this is 8 a.m. in the morning, um, the current, say the current time is 8 a.m. in the morning, we'd have to scroll this around until we come to 
800, roll 8, so they're 24 years, so that's midnight, 2, 4, 6, and then 8, so you can see the 8 there is in light of that arrow, so that's 8 o'clock, so that we're setting it to the current time. So look, that's pretty much all there is to the Legrand uh, 24 hour little timer. Hope that's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video.